What is up YouTube? This is Twink in the Trap Pinch bringing you my first ever Ubers battle. If you could please leave a like, subscribe, and comment, that would be awesome. And follow me on social media using the links in the description or just type in the Twitter tag below my face right now. We're going to get right into this battle and just so you guys know, if you watched my team builder video, I said that I had defog on my Ho-Oh, but unfortunately I cannot run defog on this Ho-Oh because Regenerator is its hidden ability and Defog is a transfer only move. Therefore, that would make running a 4th gen only move on a hidden ability which wasn't released until 5th gen, that would make the Pokemon illegal. But let's get right into this right here. Okay. So I see Blaziken, Deoxys, I see three potential starters here. Actually four. Yeah, um, that Deoxys speed could definitely set up hazards. That'll be very bad for my team, considering I don't have Defog or Rapid Spin anymore. But there is also Genesect on his team, which can just U-turn. There, um, Blaziken can just protect over here. So I think... I'm going to send in Lugia. I think that's my best play here. Yeah, I think that is my best bet in this situation. Right now I'm going to go straight for a T-Wave just to cripple this Deoxys completely. Because De without any speed, Deoxys is literally... Like, this is the speed form. It's supposed to be fast. Now it's just a piece of doo-doo butter Pokemon that can't do diddly squat. So I am just going to go and set up some Calm Minds right here, but unfortunately I get Toxic, so I'm going to go for an Arrow Blast. Hopefully this Oko's it, because this thing has very low defenses as far as I am concerned, but I, I miss with that, oh my god, 5% chance to miss, and I miss that move. Hopefully I get a crit right here. I don't get a crit. And unfortunately, this Deoxys just pooed all over my team. I could be in a very bad place right now, actually. Okay, so the Deoxys does go down. He's probably going to switch in. I want to say he's going to switch in the Genesect, maybe, just to get a U-turn off on me to see if I switch or to scout. He could also be bringing in the Primal Groudon. I think that's Primal. It's probably Primal. That's weird. Wait, what? What just happened right there? When you switch in Groudon, does it immediately... What is this? It just immediately turns into Primal Groudon. You don't even have to click a move to do it. That's... What is this? Alright, so I'm going to go for Arrow Blast one more time. It misses. It seriously just missed. I don't think... I really don't think I can do much with Lugia at this point. So, uh, what I'm hoping right here is that Arrow Blast does a decent amount. Okay, so I do go down this turn. But what can I do here? With Erebus, I do four times resist his stab. Alright, let's see. Right here, I can go for a U-turn, but nobody really wants to take any damage from that. So, I can switch an Iris because it's probably carrying either Stone Edge or Rock Slide. Earthquake super effective on him. So I think my best bet is to switch in Erebus. Ereb, Ereb, Erebus. I don't know why I'm pronouncing it with a Spanish accent. Which makes no sense whatsoever. Because that is a Greek word. Or a Greek name or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to go for Spatial Ren right here. And that brings it down to 6%. That is just below what I would like. Alright, so I'm going to switch in Hermes right here. I'm just going to go for the U-turn. 
because that's basically all I can do right now. I get 1.5 times special attack, but I am choiced. So, let's see. What do I want to choice myself into? Um, let's see. I think choicing myself into Blaze Kick is the best move right here. Because even though it is resisted, I do get it boost, boosted by the Intense Sun. Okay, that does go down when he faints. I was wondering about that. But if he switches in his own Genesect, that will do a huge amount of damage. And it'll do a huge amount of damage to anybody on his team except for the Blaziken. Okay, his Blaziken is most likely going to protect here. Just so it doesn't have to um just so it can get the speed boost off I think he's running Mega Lucario though so I think I'm good and okay so I'm gonna switch in Ho-Oh and I'm gonna go for Recover <laughs> okay so it uses Substitute rather than Protect to get the speed boost up Okay, so I think right now I'm going to go for Brave Bird. He could be setting up Swords Dances back there, though. My best bet is to recover, because I want to be at full health. Okay, so I am back at full health. I actually wasn't expecting an attack right there, whatsoever. I am physically bulky, though, so I should... I think I should be in a good situation. This could pan out either way. I'm not sure if that thing carries Stone Edge or something. He goes for the Blaze Kick, which is resisted, and I do get his sub down. And right here, I am actually very surprised that he isn't running leftovers if he's using a sub. Because that thing has no form of recovery whatsoever. There is nothing that could possibly help say it like. There's nothing that it has that's going to give it some sustain after using that sub right there. Alright, so... Uber's... Like, is this just me, or are Uber's battles very fast? This is weird. I'm not entirely comfortable with it. Okay, so use Geomancy. See, this turn I'm gonna go for Whirlwind. Just to get this thing out, because it did use up its Power Herb, and I guess Geomancy lowers... Does it lower something? Is absorbing power. Power herb active. Oh, so it's a two-turn move. Okay, I get this now. Alright, so I am going to go for Sacred Fire right here. If it doesn't kill, it will burn. And I'm not sure if the Lucario has anything to switch... Ooh, anything to use against me. But he goes for the Swords Dance. That brings it down to 8%. But I do manage to nab the 50% burn chance, and I kill it with the burn that turn, which is very awesome. Ho-Oh is... Ho-Oh just r is wrecking shop right here. Oh my god. Alright. So now he has to charge for a move with Geomancy, so I'm gonna go for Sacred Fire right here. It'll be cool. It'll be very cool if I do actually manage to get the burn. I think there was a 10% chance to miss that. That is very unfortunate. 5% chance. What is with... What it... Like, what's with all these missing moves? They all have 95% accuracy, but I'm managing to miss every one of them except, like, two. This battle. That is... That's not cool. I don't like that. Okay, recover. Right here. Alright, so... That turn was basically just both of us healing ourselves. Um, he got rid of the burn on his Xerneas. I got rid of, or I healed myself back up. So I'm just going to go for Sacred Fire once again right here. And Aromatherapy healed that burn. Um, okay, the Sacred Fire brings it down 34% and he's at 22 right now. So what I think I am going to do is... I'm going to Sacred Fire right here. I'm going to Sacred Fire. Okay, so I do get the Xerneas down, and that is basically game unless he manages to kill me in one shot with Genesect. 
and then manages to kill the rest of my team in one one shot with this choice Genesect. Because I am predicting it to be choiced. Because who doesn't run choiced Genesect? He go. He knows there's nothing he can do, so he did go for the Iron Head, hoping he'll flinch the hell out of me for into obliviousness. But he doesn't manage to flinch me, so I am able to KM, KO him with my Sacred Fire. Why did I just narrate that like 30 seconds after the battle ended? Anyway, I think that is a very good start to my Uber's battling career. I'm very surprised that that battle was as fast as it was. Um, we'll just have to see how fast paced the rest of the Uber's battles are. Because I, th I think with my team, it could go either way. Where they're either really long battles or really short battles. But anyway, as I said before the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Please send battle requests to me in the comment section. Or on social media. You can follow me on social media using the links below my or below in the description. And if you want to just type me in on Twitter, use the tag below my face. Um, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day.